Originally released as an arcade game, fighting game fans were introduced to Soul Edge back in 95 and just quickly fell in love with its weapon-based combat system. It's now grown today to become Soul Calibur. We got big weapons, big characters, and epic storylines. Nuff said. All right, let's just jump into the game and show you what you can expect to see. It all starts off with their mode. So we've got story mode. This takes you through the timeline of Soul Calibur. You can play as different characters, learn about their history, and just how this epic world has all come together. Plus practice mode. I know a lot of you, you aren't too good because I could take you down. Build up your rusty skills here in this place. But let's talk about gameplay mechanics here, right? This is a signature part of this series, a 360 ring. So what can you do? You can move in 360 space. So I can move forward, I can move back, I could move left, I could right, I could dug, I could dodge, I could dip, I could dive. You literally can do all of those moves. Plus, weapon focused combat. This is what is signature. It's called Soul Calibur for a reason. So we got like big swords, we got like little tiny swords, and we got big staffs. All right, ring out. I'm not in this position a lot, but let's say you're behind in the match and you gotta come back, you gotta figure out like, how am I gonna come back? Well, you can push the other opponent to the edge of the ring and knock them out and you can then win. But the feature that you guys and gals all have to look out for is the soul gauge, right? It's up in the top and it builds up over time. So what it allows you to do is pull off more powerful moves or even a super move like the critical edge, which is a multi-hit swipe. All right, let's just get all that other stuff out of the way because we wanna talk about the advanced techniques. These are the new things specific to Soul Calibur VI. And let's start off with Critical Edge. Sounds familiar, right? Well, let's talk about it again. This is an animated combo sequence using attacks in quick succession. Next up, Soul Charge, which pushes enemies away and enables players to briefly gain a second array of powerful attacks. It also does damage to blocking opponents. And finally, Reversal Edge. I love this one, it has this over the top animation, but it's a battle of rock, paper, and scissors between you and the opponent. Okay, we're gonna go in the character creator here and I can choose between an original one or a Soul Calibur one. Let's just start from scratch, let's go original. And then we have these different choices, um, I guess different types of people. I can be a human, there's an outcast. Okay, there's a lizard man. That's kind of weird and crazy. I do like this look of this lost soul guy, so let's go with him. Wow. Uh, I'm in my underwear here, okay. So let's just see, we can choose a weapon style here. We have a few choices. Now we wanna do some body modifications. This is really cool. You, you can't really do this anywhere else. Just make this custom character from scratch. So let's just pump up the arms a little. Let's get bigger, let's get bigger. And then my chest, oh yeah, we're gonna get, look at that dude, he's beefy. I can also change my hair so Let's kind of make it more spiky like mine. And the horns here, we got straight horns. We got, ooh, the curly one, that's pretty cool. And let's add a tail. So that's what I came up with, but you could come up with something completely different and that's what makes this unique. The ability to start from scratch, build this character that is personal to you, completely unique, and take that character and head into battle. We just showed you guys and gals how to do character creation, but I wanna go back over to story mode because there's two paths you can take here. The first one is called Soul Chronicles, and this is an adventure mode that uses existing characters to really learn more about the whole Soul Calibur lore. The second one, Libra of Souls. This is where it gets fun because that character that we just created, you can bring them into that mode, and it's more of a RPG style game, so you can level them up, and you can also find new weapons along the way. Soul Calibur 6. I just love the over the top, big, bright, bold visuals and animations and the characters, they're just as big and bold. So it really creates this unique world. Now casual gamers, you can just jump right in and start button mashing away. But if you are a fighting game fan and you like that nuance and detail, there's absolutely a lot of stuff here for you. Plus, let's not forget about the big, big swords. So if you love fighting games and you're looking for a new one to play, this is the one for you.